The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is an American family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multirole combat aircraft that is intended to perform both air superiority and strike missions. The aircraft has three main variants, the conventional takeoff and landing, CTOL, F-35A, the short takeoff and vertical landing, Stavel, F-35B, and the carrier-based, CV, Katobar, F-35C. The aircraft descends from the Lockheed Martin X-35, which in 2001 beat the Boeing X-32 to win the Joint Strike Fighter, JSF, program. MRF, a program for a relatively affordable F-16 replacement, was scaled back and delayed due to post-Cold War defense posture easing F-16 fleet usage and thus extending its service life as well as increasing budget pressure from the F-22 Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, program. The AFX, initially known as the Advanced Attack AX, began in 1991 as the USN's follow-on to the Advanced Tactical Aircraft ATA, program for an A-6 replacement, the ATA's resulting A-12 Avenger II had been cancelled due to technical problems and cost overruns in 1991. In the same year, the termination of the Naval Advanced Tactical Fighter NATF, a naval development of USAF's ATF program to replace the F-14, resulted in additional fighter capability being added to AX, which was then renamed AFX. Boeing and Lockheed Martin were selected in early 1997 for CDP, with their concept demonstrator aircraft designated X-32 and X-35 respectively. The McDonnell Douglas team was eliminated and Northrop Grumman and British Aerospace joined the Lockheed Martin team. The key aspect of the X-35 that enabled STOVL operation, the SDLF system consists of the lift fan and the forward center fuselage that could be activated by engaging a clutch that connects the drive shaft to the turbines and thus augmenting the thrust from the engine's swivel nozzle. As the JSF program moved into the system development and demonstration phase, the X-35 demonstrator design was modified to create the F-35 combat aircraft. Block 2A improved the training capabilities, while 2B was the first combat-ready release planned for the USMC's initial operating capability, IOC. Testing found several major problems. Early F-35B airframes had premature cracking, N-8, the F-35C arrestor hook design was unreliable, fuel tanks were too vulnerable to lightning strikes, the helmet display had problems, and more. The first upgrade program, called Continuous Capability Development and Delivery C2D2, began in 2019 and is currently planned to run to 2024. The APG-81 radar uses electronic scanning for rapid beam agility and incorporates passive and active air-to-air -air modes, strike modes, and synthetic aperture radar SAR, capability, with multiple target track while scan at ranges in excess of 80 nmi 150 km. Stealth is a key aspect of the F-35's design, and radar cross-section RCS, is minimized through careful shaping of the airframe and the use of radar absorbent materials RAM. Visible measures to reduce RCS include alignment of edges, serration of skin panels, and the masking of the engine face and turbine. The F-135PW600 variant for the F-35B incorporates the shaft-driven lift fan SDLF, to allow STOVL operations. Designed by Lockheed Martin and developed by Rolls-Royce, the SDLF, also known as the Rolls-Royce lift system, consists of the lift fan, drive shaft, two roll posts, and a three-bearing swivel module three BSM. Additional carrier suitability testing was conducted at Naval Air Warfare Center Aircraft Division at Lakehurst, New Jersey. In addition to deploying F-35Bs on amphibious assault ships, the USMC plans to disperse the aircraft among austere forward-deployed bases with shelter and concealment to enhance survivability while remaining close to a battle space. Known as Distributed STOVL Operations DSO, F-35Bs would operate from temporary bases in Allied territory within hostile missile engagement zones and displace inside the enemy's 24-48 to hour targeting cycle. This strategy allows F-35Bs to rapidly respond to operational needs, with mobile forward arming and refueling points MFARPs, accommodating KC-130 and MV-22 Osprey aircraft to rearm and refuel the jets 
as well as littoral areas for sea links of mobile distribution sites. The F-35's operating cost is higher than some older USAF tactical aircraft. The United Kingdom's Royal Air Force and Royal Navy both operate the F-35B, known simply as the Lightning in British service. 277. It has replaced the Harrier GR-9, which was retired in 2010, and Tornado GR-4, which was retired in 2019. In November 2020, the IAF announced the delivery of a unique F-35I testbed aircraft among a delivery of four aircraft received in August, to be used to test and integrate Israeli-produced weapons and electronic systems on F-35s received later. Italy's F-35As were declared to have reached Initial Operational Capability IOC, on 30 November 2018. Japan's F-35As were declared to have reached Initial Operational Capability IOC, on 29 March 2019. The F-35 was designed with three initial variants, the F-35A, ACTOL land-based version, the F-35B, ASTOVL version capable of use either on land or on aircraft carriers, and the F-35C, a Katobar carrier-based version. The F-35A is the conventional takeoff and landing CTOL, variant intended for the USAF and other air forces. The F-35B is the short takeoff and vertical landing Stavel, variant of the aircraft. The F-35C is a carrier-based variant designed for catapult-assisted takeoff but arrested recovery operations from aircraft carriers. The US initially refused to allow such changes before permitting Israel to integrate its own electronic warfare systems, including sensors and countermeasures. In December 2021, it was reported that Lockheed Martin was developing a new variant for an unspecified foreign customer. On 12 March 2021, during a close air support weapons training nighttime flight near Marine Corps Air Station Yuma, Arizona, a round fired from the belly-mounted gun pod on AF-35B, a 25mm GAU, a Gatling gun, detonated shortly after leaving the barrel of the gun. On 17 November 2021, a Royal Air Force F-35B crashed during routine operations in the Mediterranean. On 4 January 2022, a South Korean Air Force F-35A made a belly landing after all systems failed except the flight controls and the engine. On 15 December 2022, an F-35B crashed during a failed vertical landing at Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base Fort Worth in Texas.